What's up everybody? Phil with Bull City Pictures here with another tutorial. Today I want to show you my workflow for mobile video editing. When I don't want to carry a laptop, which is most of the time, I carry a tablet with me. I'm going to show you my setup here. It's the G-Pad GX 10.1. I've got a 128 gig micro SD card and I use the adapter and actually use that in the camera. And I'll show you what I've got on that SD card in one minute. And then my vlogging cameras, the LX10, Panasonic LX10, or the Canon M6. I'm going to show you the contents of that SD card. And basically, I've copied music in there so that if I need to look at anything from a music perspective, I can see that music on the card. And then that will come into play as we go through, and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's the DSIM folder where you would normally see your videos, pictures, all those types of things that come comes from the camera itself. And then also, like I said, I've added that music folder. And that music folder contains MP3 files for music that I want to add to the video. And we'll add some music to our video as we go through this. The app that I use is called PowerDirector. And this, again, this is uh, Android, it's an LG tablet, so it runs Android. And this is the best editor that I've found for Android, and it's called CyberLink PowerDirector. So this is not going to be a tutorial on PowerDirector itself, although we will go over some of the features. Just wanted to show you kind of what the workflow is. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And you can give it a name and change the as aspect ratio if you choose. But now we're looking at all of the media that I have on this tablet and I can see that this 101 underscore pana folder contains what I'm looking for I know because I looked at that earlier in the file manager so I've got a, some video files here that I want to put together to create a vlog on the run on the go so here's the first video that I want to add you just tap that video you can see there's a plus there if you click on the plus, it's going to give you a screen that asks if you want to convert this to Ultra HD or leave it as Full HD. If you leave it as Full HD, it's slower when you're doing your editing and scrubbing. So we're going to go ahead and convert this. And what that does is it takes that 4K video clip and converts it down into a 1080p clip, basically. So here's the primary interface. And you can see that you have your timeline here. I'm scrolling on my timeline. You're also able to add music as well, which we'll do for this particular video. But basically, if you click on a video, you can see that video. And now you've got a scrub here. You can scrub through it. And I'm going to want to just play through this to see where I want this to start, because I know I don't want to start right at the very beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. I can see that that's about where I want to start and can scrub back a little bit and watch basically what I'm watching for is when my mouth starts to kind of move here so I think that's about right where I want to make a cut and there are a couple ways that you can do this one is you once you tap on the video like I just did you can drag that green bar over or if you prefer you can see the tools on the top left here that you can just split it and I'm going to press that middle button to split the video and now that that's split I can tap on the the piece that I didn't want the piece that I'm editing out and you can see that there's an edit and there's also a delete icon on the top left I'm going to go ahead and delete that so I'm going to just play through this and make sure that's about where I want it to start What's up, everybody? that's pretty good what I want to do is add a title as well and there are a number of different things you can do if you look at the top left you have music and videos, transitions, and effects. You can add different types of effects. You can also add titles and transitions. So I'm going to add a title by tapping on that middle button. That will allow you to add different layers to this basically. And you can see now on the bottom that we have this layer marker do title and then it gives you a bunch of different cho choices for the types of title that you'd like to create you can do a number of different regular titles I'm just going to do just a standard kind of title I'm just going to take it and drag it down to my timeline 
And then once I do, I can tap on that to edit it. And you see now that I have the title designer. And I can go through and edit my title. done tap on the check now you can see here that it's not exactly the way that I wanted it so I can go back and edit it and what I want to do is just put a carriage return or an enter in there to split that up and now I can also drag the text center it pretty much do what I want with the text and then you can change the font you can change the color a number of different things that you can do if you tap on the edit, and then you can see here I can change the color, I can change the font. And I'm thinking that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and move the video clip over. And I want that to start. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave it here, so I'll have that. Wipe in, wipe out. Now I'm going to go ahead and just edit the end of this clip, look at the end and see where I want this to stop. This is right about there. Now again I can click on it, you'll see the tools come up on the left. I can split that. And once I've done that I can tap on the part that I trimmed, remove it. I can also do a number of different things with the video itself. You can change the volume, you can do some color grading, change the speed, reverse, crop, rotate, flip, and duplicate as well. So what I want to do at this point is just underneath I want to add a music bed so I can just tap on the icon on the left. And now you'll see that it's showing me right now that the video is highlighted but I can look at photos. If there are any photos it will show me any photos that I have on any of my media sources, also music. And now I can look at the music that I have and just take a clip and basically drag it over. And I'm going to look here at Panther and I'm going to do add this particular song. You can see it's highlighted now. Press on plus and now it's going to add that to my clip. And you can see that it's adding it. Take it back. You can see I've got the title now and I've got music underneath. From a music, music editing perspective, you can change the volume and you can duplicate the track as well. So what I'm going to do is just play through this and see how it looks and sounds. This beautiful. One, two, three, four. That music is a little bit too loud. I'm going to change the volume here. Bring that down. You can also have it fade in and then fade out. And then there's a, a cool feature for audio mixing where you can change the volume of the tracks. So you can see that for the audio, for the video, it's at 100%, and then the first two layers are 50% and then the next two music layers are 100%. So I can bring this down as well for the music tracks. And now when I play through this, you'll hear the music is lower. And again, you can change it to just about any volume level you want. I'm going to take that down to 15 and just play through it and see how it sounds. Sounds like a little better mix. That's for this particular video. That's pretty much going to do it. Uh, this is again just for demonstration. So once this video is done, and this is only a 40 second video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the music where the video ends. Let's tap on it click on that split button in the middle, delete
delete that. And now I can go over and actually create this video and render this video. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the produce video. And then you have a number of different choices. What I normally do is just save it to the SD card. You can share it later. And save it to the HD card. I want this in Ultra HD. Click on produce and now you'll see that it's preparing that clip and it's going to go through and start rendering the clip. And again, this is a 45 second clip. So you'll see that it will render fairly quickly. You can see we're at 94% or so now. And once it's complete, you can actually play it. So I'll go ahead and play. It's going to ask me what I want to use to play it with. Now you'll be able to see your finished video. What's up everybody? Film Bowl City Pictures here. In this beautiful, slightly windy winter morning. Downtown Durham, you see. There's a little bit of lag here because I'm recording 4K and showing the tablet at the same time, but you get the basic idea. That's the, the workflow for creating videos on the go. Again, the key is to take that micro SD card insert that into your camera, record the video on that, then take that SD card, put it into the tablet, and then from there on the SD card we can select the videos that we just recorded. Also have music on there so you can put the music in and then you'll render your video. And this renders uh, amazingly quickly, almost as quick as my desktop. My desktop's pretty powerful, I'm not sure exactly how they do it, but it does a really good job. Phil with Bull City Pictures, thanks for taking the time to view this tutorial. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, please click on that bell icon. That will alert you whenever we upload a video and you'll get a notification. Thanks again for taking the time and we'll see you in the next video.